Hey guys, welcome to Edit with Rune. I'm Rune. And this is a bit of a different video because today I won't be talking about any of my gear or showcase any specific skills in Premiere Pro. I will, however, talk a little bit about a small independent film contest that I participated in last year and totally failed. Wow, that sounded really dark. But I'll explain it in just a bit. If this is your first time here, welcome. This is usually the channel where I showcase some of the gear that I use for photography and filmmaking. Uh, I also do different kinds of video tutorials on how to use Premiere Pro and stuff like that. So if you like stuff like that, please consider subscribing. Well, back to the story. There is this small film contest here in Denmark called 60 Seconds. And it's kind of a, a short film indie contest where you produce a 60 second video with no sound around a specific theme. The theme changes for every year. And the theme for this year was man versus nature. So I've never actually participated in this contest before. So I went online and I saw some of the videos from uh, the years before this, that year. So, and not to be arrogant or anything, but I thought I could maybe bring something new to the table. So the theme for the competition was man versus nature. And some of the sub themes that was uh, thrown around uh, on the website was uh, like green transition, sustainability, uh, environment, all very super relevant issues. I thought that I might figure out some uh, interesting take on it that might have a little bit of, of humor in it. And just before the competition was announced, there was this one politician in Denmark, a uh, very interesting guy, um, and he was, because the competition was just around Christmas time, um, there was an interview with the guy, uh, not in relation to the competition, of course, but he was asked, so when we're talking sustainability, like how are you planning to be more sustainable as a person? And he, and he mentioned that, well, uh, for instance, I won't, be, uh, I won't be having a Christmas tree this year because trees are very important. We need to plant more trees. So he wouldn't be buying a Christmas tree for this year. And I just thought, well, hey, that, that might be an idea. Like, can't we make a, uh, a short film where uh, just an average Joe gets a Christmas tree and he'll just appear as the bad guy in our short story. After sitting down and writing a, a small story, uh, we went out and shoot it. And well, instead of just talking about it, I think I'll just, let me just show you it. Uh, of course, it's a piece without any sound, but I'll just add some ambient music uh, of course, you can mute it if you want the whole like experience. Um, but yeah, please enjoy. Check it out. Uh, it's just one minute. I'll be here. And it's just been so long since I've seen that video and it's it's always fun to go back and watch some of your old work um, but this was just so fun to film and edit so the week went and we were invited 
uh, to participate in the screening of these uh, top 50 picks. Like the, the jury would, uh, would pick 50 videos and of those, uh, the 50 best videos, so to say, that would be screened in a, fin in, in a cinema. So at the screening, uh, I was sitting there watching one movie after the other, after the other, after the other. Like it was, it was very interesting to see how different filmmakers had perceived the theme, uh, man versus, versus nature. Some were great, some were just flat out weird, but some were just brilliantly thought out. Like it was super cool to see these different videos. But as time went, I sat there like, okay, we've sat here for the past 30 minutes. So that means that 30 uh, of, the, uh, of the top 50 must have gone through. But as time went, like after roughly those 50, 60 minutes, uh, the jury went back on stage and announced that those were the 50 uh, picks from the jury. And I just sat there, well, I didn't see mine. Like, it, it was a bit weird, not to be arrogant, uh, but I really thought that I had created like a, a smart piece with a, uh, with a fun narrative, but mine wasn't the, one of the top 50. I sat there like, that's just weird. And I remember just uh, walking home from that theater, like all disappointed and thinking, geez, I must really, really suck. I mean, <laughs> just, to be, just to be honest, like I, that was really painful uh, on the self-esteem count. The next morning I woke up thinking like, ah, pff, what do they know? The more time went, the more I started figuring out like what went wrong because the whole reason why I'm making this video is because this actually was the most important lection I've ever learned uh, of all of my creative endeavors so to say is that I, I completely misunderstood uh, what they wanted. Um, let me just zoom in here for emphasis. <laughs> No, but this, this is super important. I, I completely misunderstood. If you go back and you see some of, the, uh, some of the last year's submissions and you watch my movie back, you can see a clear difference in the type of video uh, that is registered onto this, part, uh, this specific contest. The thing being, being that the jury wanted a film that showcased the theme, but they also wanted it to be showcased as artistic pieces. And that's super important to remember. Uh, they didn't want a story with a, with a narrative. They wanted a artistic piece. And that's totally not my video. I think I, I created a, a small, very cute little video. The thing is that it, it wasn't it was not at all an artistic piece. Of course, film is also art, but uh, if you watch some of the old other videos for this specific uh, competition, you'll realize that um, the jury are seeking something totally different than a narrative story. And now, I've, now I think I'm actually rambling. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's just understanding what the client or jury or what you want to call it, what your audience wants is the most important thing. Um, next to, of course, creating something that you're, you're proud of yourself, but just the immediate uh, next best thing to keep in mind is what do your audience, what do your audience want? If you're showing it to your family, of course, they'll applaud and say, oh, that's the most beautiful thing we've seen. But if you're creating a film for a jury or a client, they might have some much higher, much uh, stricter demands for the video. And it's just so important to always keep in mind, what does the person that I'm creating this for want exactly? It's been 
just defining what I what I've created afterwards is that it, it's always in the back of my mind like so what does the person want that I create this for and this YouTube channel is also something that I'm constantly trying to figure out like so what do you guys want uh, as well as what do what do I as a, a creative person want to make so and getting those two worlds to meet I think. So why is this relevant? Let me just zoom out a bit. So why is this relevant now, you might say? Well, I've, I've wanted to make this film for quite a while and I know it's just a ramble and a talk, but I just wanted you guys to, to learn from my mistakes, just to be better filmmakers and better creative to understand like your audience uh, as well as I'm trying to do. But the reason why this video is uh, relevant right now is that there is actually a new submission for this year's 60 seconds film and I'm not sponsored in a way uh, I just think it's an awesome opportunity uh, for people trying out filmmaking to hand in some work getting it critiqued by someone else or you might even be showcased in a real cinema that's also fun to try out for the first time uh, seeing your work like in a, at a massive screening uh, in front of an audience, that's always very interesting to try out. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave it a link in the description down below. Uh, just, or you can also just check the link right here on the screen. So that's up to you. So if you enjoyed today's video, uh, I know it's been a different one, uh, but please consider subscribing. Uh, I really appreciate it. So, and until I see you next time, bye. <laughs> see you guys around. <laughs> hey.